Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the selection of MOSFET for your application. So today's topic is how to select the MOSFET. Okay. So we will understand the different MOSFET parameters like uh, MOSFET drain to source voltage, VDS, MOSFET drain current, MOS gate charge, you can see MOSFET gate charge, MOSFET gate to source voltage, what is the role of MOSFET gate to source voltage and what is RDS on in the MOSFET, right? So I'll also tell you the thumb rule of selecting the MOSFET for your application. Let us say you want to select a MOSFET for your application is 1 ampere. How will you select the MOSFET? Let us say your application is 1 ampere and, and you have drain to source voltage is let us say 10 volt or 12 volt. How will you select the MOSFET for this application? So later I'll explain this also. Okay. So let us understand first different terminology used in MOSFET selection. Okay. So what is the VDS? So the, the VDS of MOSFET is drain to source voltage of MOSFET when gate is off. Okay. If I say gate is off, that means your VGS equals to zero. And what is ID? ID is the drain current or sometimes you can call it a continuous drain current. This is ID. And what is QG? QG is gate charge of the MOSFET. So why we, why we need to look the parameter QG? Because QG defines the switching speed of the MOSFET. What is the VGS? Okay. VGS is MOSFET gate to source voltage, right? Gate to source voltage. So it is, it is required to turn on the MOSFET. It is needed to turn on the MOSFET. If your VGS is zero, your MOSFET is off. You, if you have some VGS value, let's say five volt or 10 volt, your MOSFET will be on. And what is the RDS on? So RDS on basically a on resistance of the MOSFET drain to source. Okay. RDS, you can see here drain to source resistance of the MOSFET when it is on. So why this RDS on is important? Why? Because, because if your MOSFET is on, there is a power loss across the MOSFET, MOSFET drain to source. And that is governed by the power dissipation of the MOSFET is given by, let's say, let's say RDS on into ID square, I square or loss. It's very simple, as simple as, okay. ID square into RDS on and that is the power loss. So today we are going to learn more about this power MOSFET. You see IRF 740 and the make of this MOSFET is Visha, right? Visha silicon, it's right. So we will understand the different parameters of this power MOSFET and let us see how will you select your MOSFET for your application after watching this video. Okay. So let us go back in the data sheet of this IRF 740. So here you see we have IRF 740 power MOSFET and you can see different features of this power MOSFET. I'm not going much in detail. You can see they have given the dynamic dB by DT rating. It has fast switching. Okay. Now you can see if you look this product summary, I have already explained what is VDS. It for IRF 740 VDS is 400 volt RDS on. So, so you have to understand there is a different condition. I'll tell you later the RDS on value. So for the moment you can see here RDS on is 0.55 ohm when VGS is 10 volt. So what happens is if you increase the VGS value, the your RDS on is lower down. Okay. So your RDS on is inversely proportional to your VGS. Now you see the QG value like gate charge at 63, gate charge of uh, QS source gate charge and this is drain gate charge. Let me go here. Uh, this is absolute parameter. 
rating okay and it is defined in 25 degrees centigrade so you need to be very careful while selecting your mosfet since these parameters are defined and at 25 degrees centigrade so when you are looking this data set of this mosfet you have to consider your ambient temperature of your design what is the ambient temperature what is your ambient temperature for your designer uh, for your uh, project which you are working okay so this is absolute maximum rating that means if you apply any things like grade to uh, drain to source voltage more than 400 your mosfet will get them as in this is so you can see this is the maximum or worst case rating of the mosfet so you should not design your your circuit with the in the worst case condition otherwise it will get failed in your application now you see different parameter here so you see here gate to source voltage of the mosfet maximum is plus minus 20 degree ambient you see here guys at 25 degree it's 10 uh, 10 amps and at 100 degree it's 6.3 amps this is pulse current i'm not going much detail here let us directly come here uh, one more parameter I would like to say here this power dissipation for this MOSFET is 125 watt is at 20 at 25 degree centigrade so now let me go here so this three parameters thermal resistance rating this is very important guys thermal resistance of junction to ambient case to like sink and maximum junction to case r theta junction to case this is junction to case this is case to sim and this is junction to ambient so while calculating the thermal or power loss or the temperature rise for particular mosfet these parameters are very useful guys okay now so which parameters you need to look on the data sheet so this is basically a the parameter which you need to consider while designing your circuit so you can see here drain to two source voltage 400 volt and then you can see vgs is the voltage minimum voltage you can see here 0 0.2.0 and maximum you see 4.0 volt so your mosfet will get turned on as soon as you apply the voltage either to from 2.0 volt to 4.0 volts okay so at least this mosfet maximum takes 4.0 volts to turn on and minimum it takes 2.0 volts to turn on then i'll go some other parameter like rds on this i already explained this is 0 0.55 now you this dynamic characteristic like input capacitance of the mosfet this output capacitance river transfer correct capacitance total gate charge gate source charge this things is very important this this dynamic parameter defines the switching speed of the mosfet so while selecting your mosfet you have to look that this is my switching frequency and whatever mosfet i am selecting here it's is good for my application all right now let us see this drain to source body body characteristic these things you also need to understand here the continuous like diode current diode body voltage continuous source to drain current i'll not go much in detail here now this typical characteristic you need to understand sometimes you need to understand the plot between the graph between vds and ids for different voltages of vds what is the diff id value now this is very important you need to understand the jc versus drain uh, source resistance now you see here the other parameter drain to source voltage versus drain current so based on application you have to look your graph so you have to also look the maximum safe operating area of the mosfet okay so this defines the drain to source voltage and the drain current right so this is very another important parameter and other parameter is the maximum drain current versus case temperature this is also very useful and like you have to also look the the package which package you are selecting for your application right now let me tell you let us say you want to design your mosfet as i already said 
uh, said that if you want to select the MOSFET for you have you have the ID of one amps right you have the ID of one amps let us say you have VDS is 12 volt 12 volt and you are driving your MOSFET with uh, pulse of 5 volt or 5 volt VGS is 5 volt then for this application how will you select the MOSFET how you are going to select your MOSFET so there is a thumb rule which I want to share with you like let us say if your continuous drain current is 1 amps so what you can do is you can choose a MOSFET which have the drain current of at least three times okay so if your continuous drain current is 3 1 amps you choose the MOSFET at least three times minimum three times to work MOSFET in the safe operating area throughout the temperature range okay okay you have to also look the temperature derating guideline here okay let us say your MOSFET is rated for 3 ampere at 25 amps and you are working something around 85 degree ambient temperature then you have to look that whether that MOSFET MOSFET is able to deliver the 1 ampere current at 85 degree centigrade okay if it is not maybe you have to go the higher rating of the MOSFET so in this case if you if you have some derating concern you have to select the MOSFET for 5 ampere so what is your rated current or desired current is 1 ampere then you should look for the MOSFET 5 times the rated to our desired current okay so this is all about the all about the drain current of the mosfet what about the drain to source voltage when the mosfet gate is off so let us say you are driving your mosfet with the 12 volt you can select the mosfet anything around 20 volt it's not hard and force even you have you are sure that you have the fixed or stable supply voltage to the mosfet that is only the that is only let us say 12 volt plus 5 percent you are pretty sure you can choose the mosfet of 20 volt there should not be any issue so voltage here is not any concern let me now talk about the the vgs of the mosfet okay so in this case let us say let us say this mosfet is giving the the rds on value lower at 0 0.55 volt okay at uh, uh, this RDS of this MOSFET is 0 0.55 when VGS is 10 volt. So now let us say in our application you are driving this MOSFET with the 5 volt of supply. So in this case your RDS on the distance will increase and you have to also again then again look for the derating. What is the power loss? What is the temperature rise of the MOSFET right? What is the temperature rise of the MOSFET? And what about the drain current if your VGS value is uh, lower so if you know the correlation the the drain current is directly proportional to vgs if you increase the vgs value your drain current will increase your mosfet will be fully turned on okay so that is how you can decide different trade off between drain to source voltage vgs rds on and, and drain current hope guys now after watching this video you will be able to select the MOSFET for your particular application. If you have any further question, feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.